guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2! Last time, we had fun with the Youth League and didn't really accomplish all that much. This time, I would like to uh, get a mission done a lot faster than I've been getting them done. I've been kind of dragging my feet a little bit. So let's go to Kilika. There's not really any missions to do here. The Gullwings, was it not? Sphere hunters that give back spheres. Don't you think that's a little odd? Yeah, probably. Of course, we're glad you're on the Youth League side, but still. And with that being said, we're having a spat with New Yevon. No rest for the weary. You want to keep your distance from the island for a little while. Okay. And with that being said, there are two treasure chests to be gained here in Kilika. Mana tablet. And over here, you can get a Turbo Ether. Well, since that mission's done, that's pretty much all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Next time, we're going to... Oh, only a minute in. Come on, I got through a mission a lot faster this time. No, we're not going to end there. Anyway, let us move on. Let's go to Makalania. Makalania is a good idea. Looks like Tobley's hype hello helper is looking for people to... Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess we could help him out. Now, they say there's a mission here, and... I don't think we can... Can we do... Okay, we can do some publicity stuff. I will do that after. Um, there's not a lot of it you need to do. But you want to go up here first to talk to this guy to enable the mission. Hey, stop running away from me. Hello, Goldwings. Good to see you. Oh, it's Toby's assistant. Would you mind doing us a favor? What kind of favor? Chief throwing a festival, singing and dancing in celebration. We're seeking musicians for a troupe, yes. Where could they be? So you want us to help you find them? We're counting on you, Gullwing. No. Thank you. If you find musician, give them this letter, yes? I need Hypello repellent. God, these guys are annoying. Anyway, kill the Jar Jar guys. Um, there are battles here. Battle list on screen. Uh, do note that Chapter 2 is the last time, uh, I believe anyway, that you'll be able to gain uh, the blue magic spells or the blue bullet spells for White Wind, Mighty Guard, and I think it's Absorb? No, Blaster. Absorb you can get in Chapter 3. Uh, but uh, anyway, good idea to pick those up in Chapter 2 um, before some of them are unavailable. Uh, there is one more that can be only gotten in Chapter 2, save for Creature Creator later, and some of these other ones you may be able to get from Creature Creator later. I'm not 100% sure on how that works, but uh, anyway, now that we're, we've done this, you know what? I actually want to go back this way, because when we're trying to find these guys, uh, I think we have to do things in kind of a specific no order. And we're not fighting this guy. Come on. Can we... Let's run away. Bye-bye. Yeah, there's very little point in fighting those guys. So let's go up here. Now, one interesting note about uh, up here on the Shimmering Path that uh, in Final Fantasy X, you could run into battles up here. In X-2, you can. And it's... Kind of irritating. Uh, there are only three treasure chests to be gotten around here. We'll be doing them as we go. But yeah, you can run into battles in here. I don't think the encounter rate is super common, but I know I've seen it before, so there's that. Let's just take this, since this is the fastest way to kind of start the... Uh, quick. Can I walk over the stupid thing? I always hated that part of the path. I was never... It looks like you're already past a certain point, but you're not, and maybe you are, and... You get stuck there a lot, basically. 
So let's go up here. Uh, if you missed uh, Payne's uh, special dress sphere, you can get it uh, after the uh, the mission here, uh, at least from my recollection, from what I was reading. But um, I wouldn't do it then. I would do it uh, in chapter one, where it was easy enough to do. What business do you have with me? We have a letter from someone named Tobley. Do you think you can help him out? I must speak with my friends. It is not my right to decide for them. A moment, please. Interesting uh, color change. How strange. I cannot hear their voices. Their minds must be closed. What do you mean? The spirits of my friends often become butterflies and drift through the woods. So they're to blame. If it is no trouble, why don't you seek them out and ask them yourself? Yeah, this one is kind of weird because I believe the mission actually ends when you track down the rest of the troop and then talk to this guy. However, the reward isn't gained until you go back and talk to Tobley's assistant. So they kind of make things a little more complicated than uh, normal. So anyway, we've got that. Am I supposed to talk to you again? Yeah, okay, yeah, you become butterflies. Close your minds, rest your hearts, and take a wing in the woods, something or other. I, I, I couldn't read. So yeah, he'll explain kind of how this works. You're supposed to find all of these circles of butterflies. Uh, there's only two that you have to find, but if you walk through all of them, you get an additional garment grid. Uh, one that I actually missed in my test run because the walkthroughs aren't particularly uh, good at explaining that you have to do that in order to get this garment grid. <laughs> all right. Nearly stopped your little heart. Yeah, the, they like to rhyme. But basically, as we go, we just want to uh, find all the ones that we can. There we go. And make sure you unlock all of them, because, I, like I said, I believe that gets you a garment grid. What do you say? You, you say the same thing in Chapter 1, too. All right, uh, you could go, I believe if you haven't picked up Clasco yet, you can still do that now, though I would highly recommend you did that quite a while ago. Uh, we're going to run through uh, this area now. I think there's some butterflies on this path somewhere. I am not 100% sure on that. Fishies! These guys are weak to lightning and gravity, if you are interested in that. I'm going to keep using my uh, my alchemists here because I want them to uh, level up and learn uh, item level 2 uh, as early as we can because that'll just make us uh, much better able to heal uh, if we need it. And it'll probably be beneficial uh, before the end of the chapter. Let's just put it that way. There's a somewhat difficult boss fight at the end of the chapter. Would you hurry up and kill the thing already? There we go. Take that. It actually did a little bit of damage to me. It means I must have been uh, holding off on experience long enough. Because, uh, yeah, normally they don't even hurt me. So, looks like uh, holding off and avoiding combat for almost the entire chapter has uh, actually made things make a little more sense. Now, is there one of these rings back here? No, I don't think so. I think one of the rings is somewhere where, um, what's his name was hiding, uh, Clasco was hiding before, uh, in chapter one. Can we get the game? Okay, I forgot that I had, uh, come on, get the, can I not get this one or something? Turning off encounters because I'm just going to end up running into a, a battle trying to get this one. I, I don't remember this being an issue before. That's kind of weird. Can I not get this one? Maybe I have to, have to get this one later or something like that. Well, we'll come back here probably off screen. Uh, there we go. 
I do want to show at least a few battles, since we haven't really had a lot of battles for quite a few episodes, except for the last episode there. But yeah, we don't have to do any more butterfly chasing quests here other than what we're doing now. Okay. They're not showing me anything new, unfortunately. I know there's got to be another thing of butterflies around here somewhere. Supposed to be, anyway. Well, there's treasure. Wanted to make sure I picked up that, too. An icy gleam. Okay, maybe there aren't any more butterflies around here. It's always an option, I guess. Okay, we're pretty much all the way out of here. I thought there were more butterflies around here. At least that's what I had heard. I swear there's more butterflies somewhere. Okay, finish off that battle. Most of the enemies seem to all be the same, so I think we'll be uh, turning off encounters once again. I think one of them's up here again, but again, I'm not 100% sure. I, I know they're kind of listing the guy, but I want to... Told you you could run into enemies up here. Think it's all the good lines. <laughs> that was funny, at least. Okay. We'll show the rest of the battle on street just because... That, yeah, that was that was funny. Well done. <laughs> They've got a distortion wave. Um, it does hit an arc, so if all of your characters are kind of covered together, you can use that and then stash and use a potion, and you can uh, kind of farm a little bit of AP that way if you wanted to, and I did in one of the uh, previous battles I was in. And unfortunately, he's going to oversoul and... Now he's going to take longer to kill. Ooh, you use Reflect. I also uh, changed up my equipment a little bit. I had uh, Confuse Proof set up for those Ochi fights when I went back to fight them in the previous episode after having to reload. But you die already. Wow, you take a long time to kill. But uh, now I've got my, uh, my stronger gear back on, so... See ya. Set up for more damage and equip the... Uh, the mithril uh, banjo that I got uh, in the previous episode on to pain there. Dragonfly one will be a drop from one of the uh, the other guys there. Let's take a look and see what that does. Guys against stop. So there's that. Icy gleam does kind of what we've seen it uh, set up to do before, and yeah, I think that's. All the interesting stuff we have there for now. Is it up here? There's no butterflies up there. Ah, here's one. Huh? What can I do for ye? Well? Shrek wants his voice back. I, I, I can help ye. If it's music that you're after, just leave it to me and the lads. Yes, we got one of the uh, the big dudes that we're supposed to talk to. Okay, we're back down here. Now, I know another one of them is supposed to be over here. And I always like how the, uh, the thing over there, kind of in the middle, just to the right of Yuna, kind of looks like Kamari's uh, Spirit Lands from the previous game. It's just kind of sticking out of the ground there. Kind of cool. But I believe the other one, I don't think it's up here, but I want to see what's up here, because I don't remember off the top of my head. You, what are you doing? Nothing! Yay. If I had the PR list out, I probably could have done it as we went, but uh, yeah, there's that. Yeah, there's another one here. Oh, there's oh, the other dear. one. Oh my, you startled me. Whatever could the problem be? I have a favor to ask. No, I do not mind at all. We'll play our songs and have a ball. Okay. Now, it teleports you back here. Do not talk to him yet. You want to actually leave out here uh, because there should be one more at least that we can get uh, based on my understanding of the walkthrough. It, uh, it's kind of confusing. I think it's the one we saw before. Maybe we can get in there now. I will show you when we get there. Okay, so we made it back here. Now, ah, there we go. 
you have to hold the circle button and try and jump over the edge in order to activate this one. For some reason or another. And yeah, that's how you get that one. And I believe it's only the five. I'm not 100% sure. I will double check during the transition into this scene. So, yeah. Okay, so according to everything I've read, that should be everything. Uh, should be all of the ones that we can do. So now that all of them have gathered here, we can go and talk to them. Okay. As long as you're together, we can do it. So now we can go back to My this My friends do not seem to object. We will help you, Tobli. We shall present a great event. We'll get them all a real gas, you'll see, eh? Yes, it will be a brilliant finale for our doomed kind. Doomed? If only all the faith had stayed. The woods would never, ever fade. But it looks like we'll be meeting our end someday soon. And that is pretty much all there is to uh, that one. Here, they'll give you the haste banjo for doing that correctly. I believe you get that even if you don't do all of them. Uh, but you want to say no here. Um, and you'll get a garment grid at the start or at some point uh, when you come here during chapter three, I believe. Um, and that one, uh, hopefully, assuming I've done everything right, we will get. Um, there are only two people and they're both toward the uh, start of the area. So I'll just jump cut back to, uh, to those guys. But there is one more treasure to be gotten before we move on. And that is up here. As you can tell by being over here, they still can't get in the uh, the door here. Neither can we. And yeah, the uh, really well, there's newish enemies. Kill them. Well, they're not new. We beat them all in chapter one, but I don't think we fought them in a little while. So yeah, the enemies still do 30 damage. And they still have like 200 HP. Unfortunately, uh, the enemies don't seem to level up with you or anything else. Yeah, the uh, the camera does not want to uh, cooperate around here. I'm going to turn off encounters. Uh, I don't... Yeah, they, uh, they force you back from here. There's nothing we can do down there. The uh, temple sunk to the bottom of the sea uh, at some point. I'm not exactly sure when, but uh, PR. Now, even though in... Uh, previous attempts at doing this, I've put on the uh, theme from Final Fantasy X for the area while doing the PR stuff. Unfortunately, since there's only two of them, I'm not really going to do that here, even though I'd like to listen to the theme again, because I really enjoyed the theme that was in here in Final Fantasy X, but it would just be a tease to listen to it for, you know, five seconds, and then it's like, oh, time to move on. And number one. There we go. And talking to this guy... Well, thank you for finding the troop. Here is a present for you. Shut up. Get the bitter farewell garment grid. And was I supposed to get something else? Let me see here. If you did things incorrectly uh, with the saving the uh, or helping the assistant side quest in uh, chapter one, you could also get the Minerva's Plate at this point. It would be gi given to you by this character uh, along with that garment grid. That is if you screwed things up, and I think that one negates 100%, so why would you want to do that, at least on a first playthrough? On a New Game Plus, sure, if you want the Minerva's Plate. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to be done here. Now we can head back to the airship. And my timer is not running. And yeah, for doing that, let's see, uh, the amount of uh, points or completion percentage for Kilika was 0.2 and for Makalania it was 1.4. So we're in between percentage points right now. We need only 0.4 more to go. Where can we gain 0.4 percentage points? Yeah, this is the only cliffhanger I have. Tune in next time. <laughs> 
Anyway, yeah, next time we will finish up the percentage, get ourselves up to a round 37% or a whole 37%, however that works. But uh, yeah, that's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.